All right. I got some stuff. And I got some things to talk about. What's up guys, this is Bill Manning, Studio C41, and uh, this is it, the, the announcement. Before we get into that, I, I was on a trip, I was supposed to announce it on the weekends and everything. I'm sorry, we just got away for the weekend, and uh, but I'm here now, and it is Monday, the day after. Uh, I usually take you like a day after uh, the trip to, decon to kind of decompress and everything from work and uh, uh, before going back to work and all that stuff. So. I got some things to talk about, uh, giveaway stuff to talk about. We selected a winner and um, let's get into it. Okay, so we went to New Orleans. It was like an early birthday getaway for my wife and everything. And uh, I went ahead and just said, let's go to New Orleans. The timing is right. It's just after Mardi Gras. Yeah, I'm boring. I didn't go. The, the people there are just amazing. Thank you, sir. Keep it up, man. Where are you from? Atlanta. Been there many times, dude. The Piedmont, this Piedmont, oh, yeah, Piedmont, God, man. Yeah. All the festivals at Piedmont Park, and, um, Cotton Club, yeah. Tabernacle, oh. Goddamn, Phillips Arena, you name it. I've been all over the goddamn Phillips you know, <laughs> Arena. The Saints are gonna be there too, but they, yeah. they, you, you know what happened with that. Awesome. What was your name again, sir? Ephraim Towns. Ephraim <laughs> Towns. Et. Ephraim Towns. Et. My stadium. Ephraim Towns. And nobody can there say. My, I lost my voice on the news the morning. It was freezing cold out there. We played from five to nine. Wow. You know? oh, I, I, God. <laughs> I'm not a singer, but you know, people like yeah. my voice. God bless them. But um, I'm gonna get, put this out to my son Ephraim. God bless your son. I always love you. He's passed. You know, posthumous. And um, we never forget you. So Dad can carry on for you. With that said, we put smiles on people's faces. Amen, brother. Thank you, sir. All right. Amen. Very big melting pot of uh, types of people. Um, and uh, there were awesome parts of New Orleans. There were some other really sketchy areas and everything. And but you know, overall, I didn't run into any problems or anything. And um, as far as my camera stuff, I went uh, with my Canon A1. Boom! This bad boy right here. This is my uh, go-to uh, for pretty much any kind of running gun. What was really interesting is uh, my friend uh, Michael let me borrow this guy right here the olympus uh stylus epic the 35 millimeter this is an interesting camera um i never really gave this much thought uh as far as like point and shoots and everybody knows that there's like a crazy price increase right now on 35 millimeter uh point and shoots and everything so i was like you know what this has got a 35 millimeter uh f 2.8 on it uh let's give it a shot so i think these things are like going like for almost like 250 bucks now and the funny thing is that i remember as a kid my parents had something like this and these were like really cheap you know not cheap as in like quality or anything like that but this was just something you just kind of threw around and like you know throw in a junk drawer or something along those lines so uh it was really fun shooting this camera because a lot of things um it was just kind of like letting go of everything i mean there's no aperture or anything on here you can see here there's no uh feature on here uh to change iso or anything like that on it so um literally i just have to turn off the flash uh automatically and you just point and literally shoot uh i have not seen any of the images uh off of this yet hopefully pretty soon so i think i shot some ectochrome 100 color plus 200 and um man i cannot remember what oh an ultra max 400 so I, I feel like i got a really good mix between like some really good uh film and some cheap film and just kind of see what we get out of it so i don't know we'll, we'll i might do a full review on this camera pretty soon i did not go with the medium format just simply because um it's just really close quarters there's too many people there and anything and with the with the mamiya 7 you kind of just get like 
too much uh, attention with that kind of camera or anything. So uh, I, I opted not to, to use that camera. Um, so I ended up going with just the A1, uh, this camera here, and uh, a 50 millimeter 1.4. Uh, for the night shots and everything, uh, really took advantage of it. Unfortunately, I could not get my hands on any Cine still 800T, so I really was hoping to shoot a little bit of that. Um, but I uh, did push uh, some Portra 400, um, so hopefully we'll get something out of it. I don't know. All right, so uh, went to the uh, World War II Museum. Um, that place is massive. I was not expecting something of that magnitude uh in that uh type of place um highly highly recommend checking that place out um and i had actually forgotten um that there was a photographer very very well known has sh shot some amazing pictures uh you even have seen it um with uh, with the soldiers getting off of uh the uh boats onto getting onto normandy so i ended up getting his book, um, uh, well, this is a, a biography on him uh, called Blood and Champagne. Um, this is about Robert Kappa. Um, so this is a, a very interesting uh, look at, as far as his life. Um, so I honestly have no idea um, about the author or anything like that. I haven't even dived into this, but uh, this is something that I'm going to get into. All right, mail time. So I got my uh, some packages here. Ooh, that's a knife. Uh, ah, nice. Bo sent me some uh, film here, and uh, really excited to see how this film is going to turn out. Can't wait to show you guys what this film is. Bo posted up on uh, on Facebook saying that he found some uh, film in his freezer at work and I think he works at like a photography museum or, or some some place anyway so um, he had sent me some film that has been sitting in the freezer for who knows how long uh, we got some let's see here Vericolor uh, ISO 160 uh, uh, 120 films so uh, expired as of 1997. I don't know if you can see that in there. I have no idea what this film is going to look like. Um, so I got two rolls. Uh, one uh, to kind of just shoot it um, with the... Usually they say kind of like a one stop per, uh, per decade and everything. So I think I'm going to try that for this one. So this one is 20 years old already. I'm going to shoot this at uh, two stops overexposed and then we'll develop it see what we get out of it and then if everything comes out great then I'll, I'll know to shoot the second one um, that way now this this is going to be really interesting um, so this is the I don't know the the labeling on here I don't know if it'll come up or not uh, VPH 3 so this is a Vericolor uh, 400 uh, so two of these as well we're gonna do, geez, I don't even know how old this one is. This doesn't even have a date on it. Uh, so I might go with two stops on it again um, and see what we get out of it. But this looks really, really old. Uh, or I don't even know what year this was manufactured. So I don't know, we'll see what we get out of it. Oh, that's something else. Uh, ooh, Tech Pan. Um, I don't know anything about this film. Dude, thank you. So I don't know anything about this film. Uh, Tech Pan, I think it's uh, like a 400 speed film, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I, I got to do research on this one because this was, this is something he just threw in there for me. I was not expecting. So, Bo, thank you, man. This is really cool. I'm really excited to try this out. All right, all right. This monstrosity. Uh, let's see here. Presents. You guys know I am an avid collector of the uh, National Geographics. As you can see here, uh, July to December 1985. This isn't the right one. I'll explain in just a second. All right. This is the one. All right. Uh, so G 
January to June 1985. I think you know where I'm going with this already. Uh, June 1985. I'm saving this for another video. I need to do my research and I'm going to talk about this. And you know what I'm talking about. And I don't, I'm not even going to say names. I'm not going to say it. But we're going to talk about it. Okay, so on to the winners. So we had the film giveaway. I know you guys are dying for it right now, so but you're just hanging there for a second. Kodak Professional gave us a whole bunch of uh, film uh, to give away to a winner. Uh, and I have decided to take um, a pack of my film that was given to me from Kodak Professional to give away internationally. So let's get on to it. Here are the winners. Congratulations, Austin Rapp. So uh, just shoot me a message on Instagram um, and uh, we'll get you squared away with that winning. All right, and for the international winner. Eric, Michelle. Michelle, Michael, Michelle? Michael. Eric, Michael? I, I don't know, you, 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 you threw an apostrophe an accent mark over the E and you really threw me off. But I'm sorry, man. Congratulations. Reach out to me on Instagram or here on YouTube. I'm not sure how to do it. Um, or you can email me down below at uh, contact at Studio C41. Uh, so congratulations, guys. Um, thank you again to Kodak Professional for allowing us to do this. And um, for those that did not win, uh, I promise there are going to be uh, way more giveaways um, and we're going to have a lot more content that we're going to be putting out onto this uh, YouTube channel. So please don't unsubscribe. Uh, stay with me. Stay here. It's going to be a lot of fun. I promise. That is, concludes it for this vlog entry and I just want to say to all the new subscribers, uh, to all the followers that have followed us, uh, thank you so much. and. Uh, We'll see you guys on the next vlog. Until then, shoot some film, dang it.